In today's video, I invite my furry friend into the van for a night of stealth camping. Oh God, his lipstick's coming out. This bloody dog hair, flipping everywhere. You're really gonna enjoy that. Ow! Don't spill water anywhere because I don't want water all over the floor. Ah! It's coming from there. I've just had a massive leak in the van. Well, today's stealth camp video is gonna be a little bit different for two reasons. Firstly, no, I'm not going to a Premier Inn and I'm not going to a supermarket car park. However, on this stealth camp, the second reason is I'm not alone. Oh, bollocks. Not today, my friend. Not today. Oh, it bloody stinks. Welcome to your home. <laughs> hey, you ready? Up you come. Oh, that was good. Good boy. <laughs> I think we're ready to go stealth camping. I think he's ready. So Buxton, he is not my dog. He is, uh, he's my dad's dog. And for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be looking after him in the van. Now I have had him once or twice, actually no, quite a few times in the van a few weeks ago, but uh, things didn't quite go to plan. Oh my God, what just happened to you? You stink. Oh my God. Buxton, get out of there. Holy sh Buxton, come here, come here. Get out of that, it's, get out. So today's mission, tonight's mission, is to take him as far away from any water source as possible because I cannot have my van getting covered in dog hair, dirt, grime, mud, and all that kind of disgusting stuff. My OCD just goes through the roof. We gotta get some fuel bucks, otherwise we're not gonna get very far. Number one, please. Ready? Tell you what, I'm gonna have to start these videos earlier because it's only about five o'clock, it's pitch black already. Can't believe it. <sighs> anyway, I've picked up the ingredients for tonight's dinner. So uh, it's nothing fancy tonight. Something very simple that I've cooked a couple of times before, I think, before on the channel, but something quick, simple, and easy. So uh, let's head to tonight's spot, which again is somewhere where I've been before, but because I've got the dog, it just makes sense to go there. Well, welcome home, everybody. problem with having such a big dog in here is he pretty much takes up half of the floor space. Yes, yes, we're going, we're going. Wait there. I'm gonna need a torch now. Have I charged it? Yeah, baby. Oh. Well, that is one excited dog ready to get out into the woods and the forest tomorrow for a good dog walk. But uh, for the moment, I'm back up at Box Hill for tonight because, as I said, it's just perfect for the dog tomorrow morning. It's going to be nice to have some company in here. That's why I put this up here because otherwise his dog hair goes absolutely everywhere. As you can see, we're just in this massive car park right at the top of the hill. And I'm surprised there's absolutely nobody here 
whatsoever for the moment. Good boy. Let's go. Tell you what, it makes it far less spooky being out here next to all these trees whistling away in the wind when you've got a dog because uh, otherwise I'd probably be shitting my pants. I don't like staying in places like this by myself. Ooh. Oh God, what's he doing? What have you seen? What's he growling at? What are you barking at? It's your shadow. Are you barking at your shadow? Get me out of here. Oh God almighty. I don't like the dark. <laughs> You want to come in? Probably not. Oh man, look at all the crap on the floor already. Right, come on, on your bed. Come on. On your bed. Sit down. What's that? You can have extra because you're with Uncle Will. Nom, 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 nom. Go on there. Up you come. You like it up there, don't you? King of the castle. I've just realized if you hate dogs, then uh, this probably isn't the video for you. And uh, it's our first night on camera together inside the van. So I thought I had to share it with you. Oh God, his lipstick's coming out. Right, don't spill water anywhere because I don't want water all over the floor. Is that all right? <sighs> we'll have to get him a Tic Tac or something. Oh God, why are you scratching yourself? You've not brought bloody fleas into my van, have you? So before we crack on with the rest of the video, I wanted to let you guys know about today's video sponsor who is none other than Jackery. This is a product that can really help you guys out, especially as winter is coming. The days are getting shorter. The sunshine that we had a few months ago has now turned into wind, rain, cloud, and just miserable weather. And the nights are getting much, much colder. You guys know that I absolutely love Jackery's products because I've been using them for a number of years now. All the way back when I was stealth car camping back in the Ford Galaxy, the good old days when I used this exact Jackery 500 watt to power my heated blanket to keep me warm on those cold winter nights to power my electrics, my phone, my laptop, my drone batteries, literally everything, even a rice cooker. The big thing for me when I first started out car camping was that I wanted an electrical system that was easy, simple, plug in and play, portable, and just goddamn easy to use. And that is exactly what this product is. It's a reliable source of power that is portable, can be recharged either via solar, when the sun finally decides to come back out, or even when you're driving using the 12 volt cigarette lighter. So if you go for a long drive, you can actually charge this up whilst you're driving. Now that we're getting a lot less sun and uh, the days are becoming more cloudy, it means I'm getting far less solar which can recharge my leisure battery inside the van. So having a Jackery as a backup and a second source of power for me is super handy. I used this a few weeks ago to actually power the new induction hob that I've got. You could even use one of the Jackery batteries to power a small heater, which as I said during winter is pretty essential because without a heater, as the temperatures drop, it's gonna be pretty nippy. To light up your winter with the Jackery, they're actually offering a discount of up to 25% from the 24th and the 28th of November in a Black Friday and Cyber Monday deal. If you wanna check Check it all out, check out the discounts and the offers that Jackery have, then I will leave a link in the description to their website and I'll also leave a link to the Amazon store down below. Right, time to uh, get some food on the go, I reckon. Bloody dog hair, flipping everywhere. 
You're really going to enjoy that. Ow, Jesus. Got no fingers left now. Right, gentle, gentle, gentle. Tonight's dinner, I don't even know what you want to call it, but we'll call it a wheel special. Very simple, very easy, which is what I like in the van. Chicken breast, some chorizo, some Lloyd's Grossman sauce, mixed in with some pasta, mixed all together, does the job. And as I said earlier, nothing like a bit of dog hair for extra flavor. That's what I say. Five minutes to half time. Mm. I've just had a massive leak in the van. Oh man. There's water everywhere. Oh shit. Oh my god. I was just doing the washing up. Then the pump kept ticking, or the pump kept going, and I was like, what the hell's going on? Look down on the floor, and there is just water everywhere. That has not happened before. I've just had to pull the fuse on the pump. Initially, I thought it was coming from underneath the sink, but it hasn't. Up. Okay, you stay there. I need to sort this out. Man, water's literally just gone everywhere. Trust me, there is water everywhere. So it's in here that I think is where the leak has happened. Okay, maybe not, that's strange. There's only a little bit of water there. Where the hell has this leak just come from then? Ah, turning my van upside down. I do not understand where this leak has just come from. It was a lot of water. Where's the fuse? I have the fuse. I can put the fuse back in. I can test it out, but now I can't remember where I've put the bloody fuse. Doesn't usually make that noise. Okay, it's coming from the back. It's coming from there. Oh, it's pissing it. This is not what you want to happen on a, what day are we on? A Thursday night at 10 o'clock. When I say I've turned my van upside down, that's no joke. There's crap everywhere. There's water coming from somewhere. I think this is a job not to be fixed in the pitch black darkness. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it for now, which means I won't have the tap, which is not a problem. Oh my God, this torch is in my pocket and it's absolutely burning my leg. Wow, that gets boiling hot. This towel is just drenched, like honestly, absolutely drenched. Buxton, do you want to come out? Come on, come out. It's bloody 10 o'clock at night. It's too late to be playing. Come here. What's that you got in your mouth? A stick. It's too late. Well, that was certainly not the peaceful, relaxing evening that I was hoping for, but uh, sometimes that's just the way it is. There's clearly something going on in the garage area, probably a loose connection somewhere which uh, yeah, I'll figure that out tomorrow. Right now I'm just gonna stick the heater on and try and dry out the van. But uh, yeah, very odd, never happened before that. So it is what it is. I missed the end of the football, Man United won 4-2. So uh, I'm gonna get myself and Buxton ready for bed and I'll catch you guys in the morning.
question I've asked myself this morning is do I want to get my own dog? Um, absolutely yes in the future but definitely not right now I don't feel I have you need to be responsible and I'm a very responsible person but you need to have certain things set up in your life that if you go away the dog can be looked after all of that kind of stuff also I definitely wouldn't get a Labrador in a van because the dog hair the molting just goes absolutely nuts a dog certainly makes going out into nature and uh, going for walks far more entertaining and definitely gets you out more often which is always a good thing and it's nice to have company okay in you go I'm gonna be heading out of here now because uh, that water leak had me up all night thinking about where the hell it's come from. So we're gonna make our way back to the workshop and uh, try and figure out what's going on in the back. Also, I know it's a bit mad, but <laughs> the van stinks. It stinks of wet dog, of mud, and just everything that a dog smells like. Although I love having him, I just want to clean the van properly, <laughs> get rid of as many hairs as possible, and just tidy things up a bit. I found the source to the problem of the leak. It's all good, just uh, need to uh, order a new part, I think, but I'll get that sorted over the next couple of days. So hopefully in the next video, the water system will be back up and running. Just to show you why I don't think I can have a dog in this van, look at my bin. The top of my bin, that is one night of dog hair. Oh my, absolutely grim. Tell you what, there is no better feeling than a clean van and a clean living space. Ah, peace, serenity. I even decided to do the full Monty and I'm gonna clean my bed sheets as well. So happy days, it doesn't get much better than that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe if you wanna see more weird, wonderful and wacky van adventures. Next week's video, I think you're gonna enjoy because we're gonna be going back to some dodgy stealth camping, to some risky places. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next video.